Welcome back to TypeWad Workshop. We've now built a couple of projects using our Group A toolkit, so it's time to add a few more items to the collection. Here's what you need to add to your toolkit to upgrade it to Group B, which is mostly about improvements to our measuring and marking out abilities. For most woodworking projects, the combination square will rarely leave your hand. It's a really versatile tool. It lets you measure 90 degree angles, 45 degree angles, thicknesses of boards, and of course, checking for squareness. This particular one also includes a spirit level and a tiny scriber. You use the scriber to scratch lines where you would otherwise use a pencil. If the square is new to you, it's important to check that it really does measure an accurate 90 degrees. Here's how to do that. Make sure that the uh, adjusting screw is tight. Lay the square on a board and draw a line. Flip the square over. Lay it next to your original line and draw it again. you should end up with a tidy parallel pair of lines. If your square is not accurate, as in this used one, you'll get a very different result. Looks like a slice of pie. This square can probably be fixed by removing these rivets and putting them back in again with the square accurate. The square will usually have both metric and inch markings on either side. You already have a steel rule included with your combination square, but constantly removing and replacing the head to use it as a standard rule can be fiddly and annoying, and for an extra one dollar, a steel rule is a luxury we can afford. Once again, this steel rule has both metric and inch markings. The sliding bevel is used for measuring and marking any angle that isn't exactly 90 or 45 degrees. We're buying a cheap school geometry set to get a protractor and a compass. We'll use the protractor if we want to set our sliding bevel to an exact angle, and we'll use the compass for drawing and dividing circles. The tenon saw is our first specialist saw. It has much finer teeth than our panel saw, which lets us make much more accurate and clean cuts. We mostly use it for cutting across the grain of timber, but we can also use it for cutting plywood. For our purposes, it doesn't matter if our PVA glue is labelled craft or wood. The difference in dry glue strength between craft and wood grades is minimal. And unless it's an expensive specialty type, you can't use PVA glue for outdoor projects that'll get wet anyway. We can get most of our bigger nails from our dismantled pallets, but we'll need some smaller ones for some of the upcoming projects. At the time of recording this video, I was able to buy all of these items brand new for $38.95. If you already own some of them, or you can borrow them or find them used, you can probably equip yourself for even less. Once again, it's very important to check the accuracy of any square that's new to you, especially if it's very cheap or old and beaten up. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.